What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man, Chaz Ellis, once again, answering the questions that you ask me. Uh, make sure you go to the ChazEllisProject.com. Make sure you get access to the live stream, 10 Steps to Recovering from Rock Bottom. This is the last day to get free access. It's the 15th of December. Make sure you go ahead and do that. Last day. You had 15 days. Don't get mad at me. Um, so make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, anyway, the question that I got was, what is the difference between tricking and courting? I did a video on why guys, three top reasons why guys don't court women, top three reasons, whatever. Uh, why guys don't court women anymore. And somebody was asking me, like, what's the difference between tricking and courting? And he was like, you kind of touched on that in the video, kind of, what's the difference between tricking and courting? Um, good question. Both men and women trick. And men and women are supposed to both court each other, really. Um, so, the tricking thing is kind of weird. Tricking does have its place. I guess I should say that first. Tricking has its place because the purpose of tricking is this, and this is kind of the difference between courting and tricking. This is why there's a, this is why there's a big difference that people kind of get confused about. Um, when you trick, the purpose of tricking is giving material things in lieu of love, commitment, and emotional stability. Um, Basically, like, I'm not going to be your man. I'm not going to be your girl, but I will buy you this pair of shoes. That way I can get what I want from you. I, this is the trade. You see what I'm saying? It's a trade-off. That's tricking. Tricking is a trade-off. Um, it's supposed to be, that was the purpose of tricking. It's like, I, look, I don't really want to be in a relationship with you. I don't really want to have a connection or a bond with you because you're not really that for me. But I do understand that you have to give to get in this world. So how about I buy you this car, okay? Well, hold up, hold up. I buy you this car, and then I can have sex with you anytime I want to. I can we can hang out sometimes, and you know, not hang out because I may be married. I may be in a relationship with somebody else, and this is where it kind of comes into place for both men and women because sometimes women, you may be a little young dude. Uh, they you call them like the sugar mamas or whatever, you know. You know, you'd be like the young dude, maybe, and it's like, hey, you know, I don't really want to be with you, but I'm looking for some young dick. Yeah. You know, I'll give you a couple dollars here and there, you know, pay for your lunch. No. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. That was kind of how tricky work. You know, a guy would get a little young girl, and it could be people the same age. It doesn't really matter. But it's like, you're not really who I want, but... I'm going to throw you a couple dollars here and there. And that's going to be in lieu of, um, you know, relationship type stuff. You know, love, stability, you know, being there for you, things of that nature. I'm going to give you money instead. Well, what ended up happening and what's happened with tricking here lately, the courtship and the tricking thing have kind of gotten twisted. Because courtship is about connecting emotionally and finding out things about each other. Are you the person for me? Am I the person for you? And moving forward into a real relationship and usually, you know, the marriage, that was the purpose. Um, tricking clearly ain't about that. But now it's kind of become a situation where it's gotten confused. It's like now people are trying to trade um, financial stability for relationship and love. It's like, okay, that's tricky. That's where tricking and, and courting get confused. And, and other people start expecting that. They start expecting the, the, the trade-off. Because tricking goes one way, while courting goes both ways. It's like we're both trying to win each other over. Whereas with tricking, it's like, I'm not really trying to win you over. I'm just paying you. Uh, and of course, you know, you're going to probably try to win me over so that I'll keep paying you. That's kind of how tricking works. Courtship is both ways. It's like, I'm trying to win you over. I love you. I care about you. I'm doing things for you that make you feel good. You're doing things for me to make me feel good. This is the courtship process. Um, and where people get it confused is now they just trying to throw money at it. You know, you see it on both sides. You see a woman trying to throw a lot of money at a guy. If I buy him this, if I do that for him, then he's going to love me. He's going to care about me. You see guys... They're doing it now, too. Oh, man, I, I, I bought her some shoes. I bought her a car. I paid her rent. I did this. Now she's going to love me. 
you know, and you're getting confused and you're trying to turn tricking into a courtship. And it just doesn't work that way. It's a lot of it is because of the instant gratification um, thing where people don't want to put so much effort into a situation and they want to get some instant results out of it. Like, if I buy you this car, do you like me now? Um, if I pay your rent, do you like me now? If I buy you this new computer, do you like me now? You know, that kind of thing. And it becomes, that's where it becomes tricky. And, um, you know, that's, and you also got a lot of women who are set up to think that tricking is courtship. Because so many dudes have been tricking over the last several years that they starting to think tricking is courtship. Like, well, the last guy I was with gave me cars and paid for this and paid for that. He's like, yeah, he didn't really like you. He was telling you, and you might have wondered why at the end of the situation, he was like, we're not even in a relationship. Well, he didn't really like you. He was buying you stuff because he wanted to hit it. And he thought that, okay, if I give you this money, then you can't get mad because you got paid. You know, so in a lot of, and now you get a lot of women who become confused to think that the tricking process is actual courtship and it's really not. You know, it's like, it's not going back and forth. You guys aren't both winning each other over it. He's getting money. You're trying to win him over, you know. So, or he's giving you money. You're trying to win him over. So it's kind of a it's kind of a weird thing where tricking has basically started to take over the courtship process, um, where it's like tricking on both sides. Now it's like I like him. I just like him so much. I'm just gonna buy him this. I'm gonna buy him that. I'm gonna do this for him. I'm gonna do that for him. And it's not like you know she's not getting anything back. I'm not saying if a woman buys a man something that she's tricking. I'm not saying if a man buys a woman something that he's tricking. I'm saying when it's not a thing where it's going back and forth, where you guys are trying, not necessarily even if they're spending money because you are, but when you're not winning each other over, when you're not giving, when you guys aren't giving each other love and um, emotional connection, it's just all about the money. It's an exchange of goods. When that's the case, that's when you that's when you're tricking and you're not, you guys aren't courting each other. You're just tricking. You're just tricking and wasting, wasting time. If you both, if you're expecting a result at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, if you're expecting to get something like love and a marriage out of it, but you're tricking. Tricking is for short-term results. It's not designed to produce long-term relationships. So you know, that's what I would say is if you don't want to trick and you want to court. You know, make sure y'all are going both ways. It's 50-50. You know, not necessarily y'all giving each other the exact same things, but that y'all are both giving each other pieces of yourself and not just things that are disposable. Because it's like sex disposable to me, money disposable to you. You know, we come together in that way. We just trick it. Um, when it's about love and connection and things that, that, that matter to each person, then it's about courtship. So that's the difference. Hopefully I was able to help you out. Once again, it's your man Chaz Ellis. Make sure you hit me up on the ChazEllisProject.com. Be a part of the discussions. Also be a part of picking the next video. And make sure you get that 10 steps to recovering from rock bottom live stream. This is the last day to get it for free. Once again, it's your man Chaz Ellis. Make sure you like and subscribe and share this video with somebody else. Peace.